What's going on, everybody? Welcome to my Week 11 College Football Picks and Predictions for every Top 25 game. If you have enjoyed my content, subscribe to my channel and like the video or leave a comment. Also, consider joining my Discord server in the description below. But let's get into this week's slate of games, starting off with Virginia at number 13, Louisville. I have Louisville winning this game 14-35, to and I have Louisville covering the spread, and I have the under 50 and a half. Virginia has scored 26 or more points in their last 3 out of 4 games, but Louisville has a really good defense, so I do think they'll be able to hold Virginia to 14. They still ultimately are fighting for a spot in the ACC Championship game, so I do think Louisville takes this game pretty easily. And on to the next game, number 3 Michigan at number 11 Penn State. I got Michigan winning this game 27-17. to I got Michigan covering the spread and I got the under in this game. This is Michigan's biggest test by far, but I don't think Penn State has the talent to compete with Michigan, unless Michigan is just overrated and isn't as good as they are meant out to be. But Michigan ultimately should win this game. They have a lot more talent on both sides of the ball. Maybe they're similar on defense, but Michigan has a better offense. They've got some explosive plays this year, and they've dominated. But with a lack of schedule catch up to them, we'll have to wait and see. But it should be a great game either way. Penn State has home field advantage, so if they do want a shot at making the playoffs, they need to win this game. And on to the next game, number 8, Alabama at Kentucky. I got Alabama winning this game 34-17. to I have Alabama covering the spread, and I have the over in this game. A win against Kentucky will guarantee Alabama in the SEC Championship against Georgia, most likely. I don't see Bama losing this game. I see Alabama controlling this game and winning big. And on to the next game, Texas Tech at number 21, Kansas. I got Kansas winning this game 31-27. to I have Kansas covering the spread, and I have the under in this game. I think it will be a higher scoring battle, but Kansas has been playing good football. And they have this game at home, and they will get their third win in a row against a decent Texas Tech team. I wouldn't be surprised if this game did go over 61.5 points, though. Being both of these offenses are pretty good, and Texas Tech always puts up a lot of points no matter who they're playing. The next game is Tulsa at number 24, Tulane. I have Tulane winning this game 42-14. to Tulane covering the spread, and I have the over. It might be brave picking Tulane to win because Tulane has had four games within 10 points in a row, but they always find ways to slip away and win. But Tulsa has been hot garbage losing their last four games and playing really bad football recently. Tulane should win this game big, but wouldn't be surprised if a bad Tulsa team somehow keeps this game close. And on to the next game, Baylor at number 23, Kansas State. I have Kansas State winning this game 14-38. to And I have Kansas State covering the spread, and I have the under in this game. I think Kansas State should win this game easily at home against a bad Baylor team. Kansas State is a pretty good football team despite having three losses. They held Houston and TCU to 0 and 3 points. Their defense has played well against Big 12 teams. And they should be able to win this game big, being Baylor is not a great team. This next game is a pretty big game for Florida State, as Miami is playing at Florida State. I have Florida State winning this game in a closer game, 31-24. to I got Miami covering the spread, and I have the over. Miami has been very up and down this year. They play good one week, and then they'll underperform the next week, but I do think they will bounce back from a bad loss to NC State and play FSU tough, but it won't be enough. FSU will make the bigger plays, and they just have too much talent for Miami to handle. Florida State also has this game at home, so Jordan Travis... Might have a spectacular game. We'll see what he can do because he's still in the Heisman race. On to a big Pac-12 game for Washington, but also kind of a big game for Utah. Utah at number five, Washington. Utah could prove something in this game, but so could Washington. Both these teams are pretty decent, but ultimately this game probably means more to Washington. They're at home and they have playoff aspirations. And I do have Washington covering the spread. And I do have the over. I have Washington winning 38 to 24. Washington is at home in this game. I do think Utah will keep this game close and score some points, but Washington will remain undefeated going to 10-0. I think they will knock off Utah. Washington needs to start getting their defense to make some plays like they did against Oregon, or else they will be in trouble for the rest of the season. Michael Penix also needs to stay consistent if Washington wants a shot at the playoffs, but they're definitely looking ahead towards that huge rematch against Oregon, which is going to be a fantastic game. On to the next game, number 17, Tennessee at number 12, Missouri. I have Tennessee covering the spread, and I have the under in this game. Now, if Tennessee loses this game, it locks Georgia for the SEC championship game, but I do think Tennessee wins this week. Tennessee is still a good team, and both of these teams are at two losses, and I do think Tennessee is the better two-loss team, and they also have the better defense. This game could go either way, so we'll see who can get to 8-2. and two. It should be a great game. And on to another game, number 22, Oklahoma State at UCF. I got Oklahoma State winning this game 38-24. to I have Oklahoma State covering the spread, and I have the under. I'm a little shocked about Oklahoma State only being two-point favorites, but I guess UCF isn't a bad team, and they are at home. 
but I just don't see UCF winning this. I'm really high on this Oklahoma State team. They gotta be the most improved team all year, and they have a good offense, and they play pretty well on the defensive side also. Don't count that defense out to make plays like they did against Oklahoma. The next game is Stanford at number 16, Oregon State. I got Oregon State winning this game 42-10, to and I got Oregon State covering the spread, and I do have the under in this game. Stanford has struggled against every top 25 Pac-12 team except for Washington, and I don't think they will compete against Oregon State. I think Oregon State controls this game at home pretty easily going into their last two games of the regular season against Washington and Oregon, and I think Stanford will lose bowl eligibility with a loss. On to the game of the week. Number 10, Ole Miss at number 2, Georgia. I do have Georgia winning this game 31-21, to and I have Ole Miss barely covering the spread, and I have the under. I could be brave and predict a Georgia loss, but I don't see them losing this game. Ole Miss is due for a loss after starting 8-1. They've had a good season, but they will go down to a Georgia team who is one of the best in the country. And with the win, Georgia locks themselves in the SEC championship game. This is Georgia's last home game, and they won't take this game lightly, and they will not let it slip away. I can almost guarantee that. Next game is West Virginia at number 9, Oklahoma. I have Oklahoma winning this game 38-20. I have Oklahoma covering the spread, and I have the under. I expect a bounce back win for Oklahoma after losing two weeks in a row. They do have this game at home and will most likely dominate it. But West Virginia isn't a terrible team, so we'll see if they can give Oklahoma a run for their money. And on to a game that usually has more hype around it, but not this year. Michigan State at number one, Ohio State. I have Ohio State winning this game 38-10, to and I have Michigan State covering the spread. It's a very high spread. It's 31 and a half. And I have the over in this game. Ohio State has struggled in their last couple games against Big Ten teams because of their offense. But Michigan State is complete trash. It needs a lot of changes going forward to the next couple of years. But Ohio State should easily win this game in dominant fashion as they are huge favorites in this game. On to the next game. Number seven, Texas at TCU. I have TCU covering the spread and I have the over in this game. And I have Texas winning 35 to 27. Now don't let TCU's four and five record fool you. They do have some upside on the offense and they do have some talent. They do have this game at home and their last two games were road losses. So I think TCU will bring it to Texas. But ultimately, Texas can't afford a loss and I don't think they'll have the same fate as Oklahoma. So I don't see Texas losing this game, but it won't be an easy game for Texas. And they still have a tough road game coming up against Iowa State on the road and a game against Texas Tech. So they still have a lot to prove before they get to the Big 12 Championship because they have a couple tough games that they still need to win to get into the playoffs. And if they win out, they're not even a lock for the playoffs. Texas is really playing for a lot right now. They're the only team alive in the Big 12. They have a big win against Alabama, possibly the biggest win in the season. So a lot of people are counting on Texas to get the job done and take care of business. But we'll see what they can do going forward. Next game is Florida at number 14, LSU. I got LSU winning this game 42-24, to and I have LSU covering the spread, and I do have the over. I don't know if Jaden Daniels will play, but I figure he probably will. And LSU is a lot better team than Florida is, and LSU wins this game easily at home. And on to the next game, Arizona State at number 19, UCLA. I got UCLA winning this game 41-17. to I got UCLA covering the spread, and I got the over in this game. Arizona State has played some teams tough and might be good in the future, but their season is coming to an end. And after that Utah loss, I think they don't have much to play for other than pride. And UCLA is a lot better team than Arizona State is. And they are at home, so UCLA wins this big. And on to a big game for the Ducks and their whole fan base, me including. Because I am a huge Ducks fan. They're my favorite team. And I got a lot of support on that last video I made about the Ducks and their national title hopes. If you haven't watched it already, go back and check it out. But on to this game. Number 20, USC at number 6, Oregon. I do have Oregon winning this game 49-28. to And I have Oregon covering the spread and I have the over. This is a very huge game for Oregon to really prove themselves against a really good USC offense. But we'll have to see how USC defense does after firing the defensive coordinator, Alex Grinch. But you can't magically make your defense better in one week. But it will be interesting to see what USC does with the new defensive coordinator. But I do think the Ducks are a very legit team and they have a shot to prove themselves even more in this game. And this could be a game that boosts Bo Nix even more to the Heisman picture against the awful defense. Oregon is known for losing November games and this would probably be the type of game they'd lose in a different year. But I do not think they will lose this game. I think they win out. I think they take care of business. And if they beat Washington, they're probably in. So we'll see what they can do. And on to the last game. Number 25, Air Force at Hawaii. I do have Air Force winning this game 37-17. I have Air Force covering the spread. And I have the over in this game. 
This is kind of an irrelevant game after Air Force took their first loss and will be knocked out of the rankings. But as of this video being made, they rank 25 in the playoff rankings and I do think Air Force wins this game. And there will be new playoff rankings coming out tonight, which I will recap in a video, so tune in for that. But that's going to do it for the video. Hope you all enjoyed and if you do, subscribe to my channel and like the video. And leave your predictions down below in the comment section. And also, if you guys want to join a football community, my Discord server will be in the description below. There's a big week of college football coming up, like always. So hope you all have fun watching it, and peace out, guys.